Hello everyone, welcome to the financial information channel. In this video, I am going to be discussing the five stocks to watch during the month of June 2018. And before I begin the video, remember I'm not a financial advisor. Make sure that you do your own research before buying, selling, or trading any of the following stocks. In addition, this is not a complete stock review. I want to keep the video as short as possible. So I'm not gonna spend a long time on each company, but I wanna cover the main points and the basic fundamentals for each specific company. In addition, I'm not going to cover some of the companies that I have mentioned in the past, like for example, Constellation Brands, Nike, Micron, and Adobe that I have mentioned in the past. Now let's begin with the first company. And the first company, it's a company that was mentioned in my Facebook group. I'm gonna leave the link in the comment sections if you want to join, but that company is under $5. Now that company name is TransEntrix, and the share price at that time when the person, one of my subscribers made a post was around $2. And the share price at this moment is almost $3 with 50 cents. And TransEntrix, is a medical device company. Their main business is selling medical device robotics and those devices sell for over a million dollars. The company also has a multi-port surgery system, but now let's take a look at how they reported earnings during the second week in May. During May 8, the company reported earnings. It beat on the EPS by one cent and it beat on the revenue by 0.93 million. Their revenue year to year is 144 percent year over year. The company received an approval by the FDA and that FDA approval was really important. Basically, it gives them the permission to use those devices for surgeries which can drive the sales of their units. Now we're gonna go over the fundamentals really quick. The first thing that you will see on the screen is the stock price at this moment is around three dollars with 41 cents and it has around 695 millions in market cap so you can consider this a high risk stock due to the low market cap but now let's take a look at the price to earning and at this moment the price to earning has not been calculated but it has a negative price to earning over around 16 so that means that the company is not being profitable at least it's not going to be profitable during the next year and just like I mentioned earlier, the company is not making money. However, if you look at the quarterly revenue growth, it has a quarterly earning growth of around 145%. So if it keeps that pace, it can actually start to become positive in the next few years. In terms of its balance sheet, it has around 87 million in cash and around 13, 45 million in debt. So it is cash positive in that sense. But what I'm watching during June is to see how the company moves. And as a disclaimer, I ended up buying shares and options for this company. And the next company that I'm gonna watch is gonna be Ulta Beauty. Now Ulta Beauty is a retailer that sells a lot of cosmetics, hair care, and skincare products. In addition, they do a lot of salon services in their stores. Now the company will report earnings on May 31st. And as a disclaimer, once again, I do have options on this company, but I have known Ulta Beauty for a while because I was investing in the past in this company. Now in terms of its earnings, Ulta has been one of the best earnings company except during the last two quarters. They hadn't missed an earnings in the last four years. However, during the last two quarters, the revenue had been in line and they had beaten the EPS only one out of the last two times. And the main metric to keep attention is the comparable store sales. The comparable store sales have started to decrease during the last year. And that is a key metric. Even though the online business has improved for Ulta, you wanna have as many customers going to the stores since that gives Ulta a better profit margins. But now let's take a look at the fundamentals. And as you can see at this moment, the share price is around $249. It has around 15 billion in market cap. And as you can see at this moment, the price to earning is around 28 and the forward price to earning is almost 20. Now in terms of profit, it has a profit margin of 9.44% and an operating margin of 13.35%. And in the quarterly revenue growth, it has around 22% and the quarterly earning growth, it has around 48%. And it has a clean balance sheet, it has around 397 million in cash and no debt. Now the company will report earnings on May 31st. And like I said earlier, Keep an eye on the comparable store sales. At one point, the share price for Ulta was around 310, I believe. 
However, the share price started to move down in 2017, and it moved down all the way to 190, I believe. However, at this moment, the share price is around 250. So it has come back quite nicely. But now let's take a look at the next stock. Now for the next stock, it's a company that is located in China, and that's gonna be YY. Now, YY main business is having a live streaming service platform in China. YY also has a chat app, in addition, different entertainment apps. Even though the live streaming seems simple, it has been a huge success in China. I'm going to leave in the comment sections a video that I watched where it goes into detail about how the live streaming has paid off in the last few years in China. Now the company will report earnings during the second week in June. Now during the last quarter, the company announced 76.5 million users in their app. However, only 6.5 million users of those 76.5 ended up paying for some additional services. So while that number is not that great, it has the potential to increase during the next few years. Now in terms of the fundamentals, you can see the share price at this moment is around $115 per share, and it has a market cap over 7 billions. Now in terms of price to earning, you can see that it has around 17 price to earning at this moment, and the forward price to earning is around 11.58. Now in terms of the profit, it has a profit margin of around 21% and the operating margin is almost 23% and the quarterly revenue growth is around 46% and the quarterly earning growth is around 29%. Now in terms of its balance sheet, it's around 1.39 billion in cash and around 94 million in debt. Now the company has underperformed in 2018, however in 2017 the company went up a huge amount so the price is catching up to the stock. And those are good news. You don't want to have the company just go up all the time. And now the next stock that I'm gonna talk about is called MongoDB. Now MongoDB is a database software vendor. They get a lot of their revenue based on their cyber revenue. Among many other things, the company sells a lot of subscription models packages for enterprise customers. Now one of the negatives is that the company came out in October of 2017. However, the stock has done a really good job during the two quarterly earnings. MongoDB has beaten the EPS and the revenue during its two quarters, and the guidance has been great. But now let's take a look at the fundamentals real quick. And as you can see at this moment, the share price is around $46, and it has around $2.3 in market cap. In terms of the price to earning, the company just came out in October, so don't expect the company to be profitable, and you can see in the forward price to earning. It has a forward price to earning of negative 39. Now in terms of profit, you can see that the profit margin and operating margin is negative 62%. And even though those numbers are off, the stock is doing a good job of making progress in being profitable. And the quarter revenue growth is around 50%. In terms of its balance sheet, it has around 278 million in cash and it has no debt. And this is a cloud stock, which during the last few years have done phenomenal. And now for the last stock that I'm gonna mention, is gonna be Red Hat. Now Red Hat is another cloud stock. Now they provide an operating system, which is very important for cloud enterprise. And they're open source, it is very well known, it is called Linux. Now Red Hat will report earnings during the third week in June. This stock has done a really good job during the last four years of earnings. It has been in line with the EPS only two times, and it has missed the revenue numbers only two times out of the last four years. Now the price share for this company is a little bit high at this moment, so the ideal situation would be if the company reports great earnings and the company sells off. Now in terms of its fundamentals, you can see that the share price is almost $164, and it has around 29 million in market cap. Now in terms of the price to earning, it has a price to earning at this moment around 117, and the forward price to earning around 40. Now in terms of its profit margin, it has a profit margin of around 8%, and an operating margin of around 16%, and the quarterly revenue growth has been around 22%. In terms of its balance sheet, it has around 2 billion in cash, and around 768 million in depth, so it is cash positive, which is important for a technology stock. Now, this has been one of the best stock during the last 18 months. We will see what happens when they report earnings. And that is gonna be everything for this video. Leave in the comment sections below which company are you watching 
during the month of June. And just like I mentioned earlier, I'm not a financial advisor. Make sure that you do your own research before investing in any companies mentioned in this video. And you can subscribe to the financial information channel. I'm gonna continue making videos about the stock market, personal finance, and how to make money online. And I'm gonna thank you once again for watching the video. You can click here to see the last month stock video and another video from this channel right at the corner. And as always, have an excellent day and take care my friends.